Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to cover an interesting example on how to compute permutations. So that will help us answer this question here. In how many ways can a group of 20 people select a president and a vice president? Well, in order to see how permutations will play a part with this, let's go ahead and take a look at what a permutation is. So basically, in a permutation, we want to select items. But we want to make sure that no item is used more than once. More importantly, the way we select these items, the order makes a difference, or I could say the order matters. All right, now let's get on to this formula. So according to this formula, you can count up the number of ways to do this by first knowing how many are in your total group. This is the n, and it shows up on top as n factorial, and it shows up on the bottom. You also need to know how big is this group that you are selecting. Are you only selecting three things or four? You know, how big is that little subgroup? This is the r, and it shows up on the bottom when you take n minus r. All right. So in our example problem, watch for this n, the total in the group, and the r, the amount we are selecting. Also take note that these two conditions must be met. All right. So now back to this problem. If I want to look at how many ways a group of 20 can select a president and vice president, first I want to make sure that this really is a permutation. Well, as we're selecting people for the, these two offices, I'm not going to select the same person for president and vice president. So, you know, every person is only going to get selected once. Also, the order in which we select these people really makes a difference. Because the first person I select is going to get president, and the second one is going to be vice president. If I decide to select people in a different order, they are going to get a different office. So this is definitely an example of a permutation. So I need to find two things. One, how many are in my total group? Well, according to the problem, it looks like we have 20 people. So in the formula, that 20 shows up in two spots. It's going to show up at the top as 20 factorial and in the bottom. Now the other number we look for is how big is this group we are selecting? Well, we're selecting a president and vice president, so that's really just a group of two people. That's the R that shows up on the bottom. So basically, we have to simplify this. 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 2 factorial. Now, you could punch this into a calculator or even expand all of this out and, and figure out what 20 factorial is, but it's much easier to expand and cancel terms. Let's see why this is. So 20 factorial is basically 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16, and that really just keeps going on and on until eventually you get to 2 times 1. All right? On the bottom, we have 20 minus 2, and then that's factorial. So 20 minus 2 is 18. So on the bottom, we essentially have 18 factorial, or 18 times 17 times 16. And that keeps on going down until eventually you reach 2 times 1. Now notice the common factors you have. In the top, you have 18 through 1. And in the bottom, you have 18 through 1. Well, these guys are going to cancel out. They're gone. And so the only thing we really have to compute is 20 times 19. Well, that's not so bad at all. In fact, if we take 20 and multiply it by 19, we get an answer of 380. And sure enough, that's how many ways we can select a president and vice president from a group of 20 people. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.